What up, y'all? What up, y'all? This is your boy, LC The One, baby. LC The One reacts, you did. A.K.A. Illmatic One. Two folks. And not the motherfucking gang numbers, man. But my actual jersey number I wore when I was hooping in high school. And my warm-up jersey is right here on the back of my motherfucking one, the spin. Hey, what's up to my LC Nation, my LC gang, and my LC crew? Hey, what's going on? Out there, let me y'all living. You did, but hey, man, we back. We are back. We are back with another, another reaction video, man. Can y'all dig that with a basketball jack? Tough ass and tenacity, baby. Shout out to Chris Move. Splash. And my fiance, wifey SJ. You dig. But as you can see from the title of the video, man, this is my reaction to Chris Move video NBA 2K23 Badges and Gameplay Vlog. Yeah! Now let's get right to it, man. Now listen, man. Um, as y'all know, NBA 2K23 will be launching in September. It drops September 9th. I'm trying to get some more. I'm trying to do more homework for y'all, man, so I can see if there's going to be a demo prelude or whatever. Because the last three, four copies, they had demos, but they didn't have one for 2022, okay? So basically they wanted you to buy your VC. So I'm gonna do the same thing this year. Come out September 9th. So I'm gonna spend a hundred dollars or whatever I gotta spend so I can start my character off. I wanna do all that extra work. Okay? Put up and down. Cause that's the only way you really gonna get your character right anyway. You gotta spend some bread on it. This is not a video game anymore. This is a career. Y'all see I'm in my career mode, really outside and everything. I'm doing everything like I'm supposed to be doing. Okay? Except winning the championship. Y'all about to see me compete. Shorty, so make sure y'all subscribe if y'all want to see my Legend on the Court Returns DVD stuff, okay? My Illmatic One highlights, okay? Y'all need to subscribe because I'm coming back in a major way and I'm, I'm not doing it for play play. I'm doing it for real, okay? So y'all want to see the 1v1s, y'all going to see everything. But anyway, um, Chris Moo has dropped the video, man. I'm watching Corey. Uh, Corey's like, is this a new video? Because you know, y'all got, y'all know him and Carmen going through that little stuff, but. That's all some YouTube jargon and stuff. Let me see. Yeah, this is a new video, August third. Okay. But anyway, man, uh, Chris Move got some updates and stuff, and he probably is the most accurate person. And then Flight was saying <laughs> Shakedown Twelve, which I watched too, got some info about 2K and all the current stuff that's coming out on the copy. And they were saying that the next gen is probably the best way to go for this copy. I'm still trying to get the next gen. I can't find a, the Xbox. I'm going to get it, though. I got a car now, so I drive to a location if I got to. Even if it's in Indiana or Milwaukee or Wisconsin, wherever. I'm going to get the Xbox, the new gen. I am going to get the PlayStation 5. Okay, but anyway, uh, we're about to get right into this reaction right here, man. Okay, so y'all ready? Without further ado, are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Well, okay, let's get it. Let go. Shout out to my wife. If y'all say, let's check. Yeah, go, yeah. And all those in the game. I be watching and reacting to on the regular with these Ray Banks, man. So are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Well, okay, let's get let go. So here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. Are y'all y'all ready for the video? Yo. Yeah, we're about to go in right now. And see what Chris Moves talking about you there. 2K has released a gameplay vlog detailing all the They go to Jabberwocky right there. Y'all know that's the Shaq made that pop. Okay. Uh, Changes for okay. NBA 2K20. Oh, Zach. First, the badge system for your players are going to change. Okay, the badges. The badge, uh, he said the badges are going to change. Now, I don't really care about all these badges and stuff like that, man, because I only use it. one. I just use one archetype. I'm a slasher. Okay, slasher, creator, shot creator, slasher. That's what I do. 
okay? Um, but I have been giving my shot right for 2K22 because I am a shooter in real life, okay? But I do slash attack the basket, okay? But he said it changed the badges. So we're gonna see what, they, what he's talking about. There's gonna be 16 badges per attribute category. Okay, 16 badges per, that's, that's good because depending on your character, I guess, they be having all different type of, like certain characters have like 30 badges per one such such, then the other one have another one and such 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 such, you dig and all this and that type of stuff. But uh, yeah, uh, that's going to be fair because, you know, sometimes they be overdoing it with these badges, I can agree on that. There's eight in tier one, four in tier two, and four in tier three. Okay, these are the tiers, I guess, that's the different levels that you can get with each architect or something like that, I guess, because I haven't really got that far on 2K like that, okay? I only play my career mode and all this other stuff, the park and all that. Okay, that's that's what he talking about. That's what they really going to be using the badge for. Huh? Tier 1 badges are not going to be that strong, but you're going to need Tier 1 in order to get up to Tier 2. Okay, okay, so they're making it a little more complicated. Okay, they make it a little more complicated where you gotta work harder, okay, in order to reach a certain level. Because they don't want, I've been hearing like a lot of park players and stuff that they don't want the same, they don't want mediocre players in their park. They want people that's at their level and all that type of stuff. That ain't fair. You never know because somebody could be at a at a smaller level and, and, and spank you. Okay, just like playing my, what that, um, um, my team, okay. I haven't played that in a long time, but anyway badges in tier three you need a certain amount of the lower tier badges to move up the list okay so he's saying you need a certain amount of badges to move up the list okay they say in the blog the reason they're doing this is they want us to make tough decisions when creating our badge recipes in loadouts okay so he's saying when, they, when you're creating your badges and stuff or you creating your player i guess um like i said i haven't played excuse me for being ignorant on this because I haven't played the, the copies that, that much to get really in tune with all these badges and all that stuff. They're also going to introduce core badges. It's four unique badge slots. One. Okay, we got core badges now, okay? We got to go over everything. We're assessing this. Chris Move giving us the 411, okay? Only four badges, four core badges, okay? So what that means? In mean? each attribute category okay. that can be filled with badges that don't count towards okay. your badge points. Okay. Four categories of badges that don't count towards your badge points for you to level up to a tier, okay? And each of these badges are gonna have a challenge requirement. Once it's met, then it's gonna allow you to place that core badge in a slot. So it's- Oh, wow. It's like, I don't know about all this stuff. They making the difficulty of this game too hard, man. If you create your player, okay? But I can understand though, because I really have to get the concept of the creative player. Okay, you gotta make that player into what you want it to be. And it's just like if you play in a real life, you're building yourself up to become, it makes sense what he's talking about, these different tiers and stuff. you building yourself up to be, what, an all-star, a superstar, a hall of famer, okay? That makes sense, because you gotta work on your game. Only way you're gonna achieve those goals, you gotta work on your game. Sounds like the build is gonna be a lot more complex. Right, you that's what I just said, it's gonna be a little more complicated, okay? based off how they got this set up, but it makes sense though. I mean, in order for you to reach a certain level of success, you gotta work on your your, your player. Could say maybe this is filler. You're gonna have to use badge points on things you don't really want just to get the higher tier things to activate. Right, the higher tier things that you need, okay, to activate uh, things that you may need for your character, right? So yeah. maybe that's gonna balance up the game more. So here's yeah. a list of badges and some badges they've removed. For finishing, you've got Slithery, it's coming back. Okay, Slithery Slide the Goose. Now that's, that's something that I know Gento, you, he talk about a lot. Okay, now I'm a slasher. Once again, I'm a slasher, so my archetype ain't that complex. Okay, I just use, I just slash. You know, I don't need to do no shots, all this other stuff for, you know, if you're trying to get open and create your own shot and dribble guard type stuff. That ain't me. Okay, but I can get like that if y'all want me to. If y'all rock with me, I can go hard on this on these video games. But in real life, that's what I do. Okay, I'd rather do it outside than inside on, on the game. That yeah. makes it easier to gather through traffic, avoiding collisions and strips. The Masher Badge. Okay, I heard what Slitty said. That, that's 
didn't do traffic. Y'all can do a lot of stuff. Now this is a new bath right here. Increases the ability to finish inside layups over defenders. Aerial Wizard is... Okay, the master is increases your ability to get high percentage layup shots. Okay, over bigger defenders and stuff like that. Okay, that, that's called a master badge. Now you got this other one called the Wizardry. The ability to successfully complete alley-oops and putbacks. Bully. Okay. Now, that's kind of, well, I don't think they should mess with this alley-oop stuff. That's something natural. You don't need no badge for that. Okay, that's that's something that could be natural. Toss the ball up. It's a big day. Anybody can leave there get it. Like Giannis and LeBron, ability to finish strong by bulldozing through traffic. And then it says they removed the okay. hook specialist badge. The hook specialist. I don't know nothing about that. Like I said, I'm ignorant to this stuff because I don't. I just play with one character build. Okay, slash. I'm gonna continue it on this card. I'm in the finals right now. I won my first game. Dropped six five six four on Mitchell. Game one. Hall of Fame. Okay, let's get it. For shooting, they have the agent three badge. Ability to hit difficult threes. Okay. Off the dribble. Midi magician is the. Okay. They get, he said they got a badge where you can hit, uh, ability to hit difficult three shots off the dribble. And then he talking about this other badge. Improved ability to knock down mid-range jumpers off the bounce. Okay. Or out of the post like MJ. And. Now, that's what I'm talking about. My previous, like, 2K, I think 17, 18, I was fading away like Mike J. For real, that's all I did. And it's like the shot wasn't that hard to do. Okay. But now the shot is so hard, you got to do a lot just to shoot the ball. That's a shoot like a regular jump shot with like a creative player. So I understand the concept, so I'm not downplaying anything 2K doing because it makes sense. If you want your play, they, this is a real game, man. I mean, this is a real, this is real deal. This is not a joke, okay? People building careers off this, like real careers, like as a gamer, okay? This is not a game, okay. Reduces the shooting attribute penalties when fatigued and okay. when... Moving excessively prior to shooting. Okay. Okay. I said. Uh, I guess this badge it reduces speeds and all this other stuff that that stop your shoot. So here we go. They're, we're going to talk about how they had this new dribble system. But look at that. They have a badge that's going to help you with fatigue. Okay. They got a badge for fatigue. Now that's pretty cool. Even though I do, you could do like regular stuff like to keep your stamina. Like you can go work out. You know, when it's time for you to work out and you can get your, you know, your Gatorade bottles and stuff and you can get the boost and stuff like that before every game. But that's what's up if they got a badge for that. And what about the dribbling? Because I don't really do all that dribbling, but if they got a badge that can, that can give you certain dribble like um, packages, that'd be dope. With scoring, so that might not even matter. Okay. Play right. increases the spot up shooter's ability. Okay. To knock down catch and shoot jumpers. Okay, that's kind of dope. Spot up shooters play more. That's what he call it. And that's for spot up shooters and stuff like that. I'm a spot up shooter too, and I'm a shark in real life and stuff like that. So I can knock it down either way. I can create my own shot too because I got the Jordan type skill set. Okay, but uh, yeah. The longer they remain stationary prior okay. to shooting, they've got a camping badge out here. A camping badge. <laughs> okay, that's a camping badge. So what is this? They out there with. Go lock in a three bears or something. <laughs> uh, suck. Comeback kid badge. Improved back. ability to shoot perimeter jumpers okay. when trailing in a game. Okay, okay. Okay, ability to come back jumpers. The ability to shoot jumpers. Now that's kinda helping it though. Okay. Uh I don't agree with that badge right there because you can you can like Michael Jordan, he was one of the greats that can bring his team back in twenty down. You gotta automatically possess those skills. Your character gotta be already right. But I mean, if you're able to get that bad based off how they saying, you know, the level, how, how difficult it's gonna be to get badges, then that's great, okay? That is fantastic. Hand down, man down. Hand down, man down. Makes an outside Mark shooter even deadlier if opponent fails to get a hand in the face. Okay. Hey. Okay, so yeah. Um, this is gonna be real, man. This, this is gonna be a real, this copy, I see it's gonna be real. Um, I want to see if they're going to put the face scan up stuff and all that. I'm ready for it. I ain't ready to go. I'm ready for a 2K. Except I still don't have the next gen. Okay? Somebody comment below, man. Why can I get the next gen? Why the stores ain't putting these consoles on the shelf? What is going on? It's been three, four years 
and we still can't go to the store and buy these games. This is getting real, man. I told y'all, this is for real. Yeah, I like that. Space Creator, formerly okay. a playmaking badge, is now a shooting badge that boosts the ability to hit step back jumpers and hop shots. Okay, Space, that's what's up. So I'm, a, I'm real life, I'm working on that right now. That I've been doing that for years, though. That Space, that Space, and that, that no hop step. I don't know about the hop step. Uh, uh. That's a potential way you can break a lid, hop step and stuff. The step back is dope. Okay, that's what's up. Stops. It will cause defenders to stumble more often. Okay. Limitless range. An old time favorite returns. Making okay. shooters more effective with any shot attempt from. Okay, that's good. Limitless range. Now, I really don't know about that. But I know Gentle, you talk about range extension and all that stuff. So, limitless range, that means that you can shoot from anywhere from any type of feet on the court. Your trajectory is just off the chain. Okay, so I'm understanding that. From deep three point range. And right. here are the badges they removed in the shooting category Chef, Hot Zone Hunter, okay. Lucky Seven, Mismatch Expert. See, I don't know about none of them, them badges at all because I'm not a shooter. Okay, got not on the game. Playmaking that badge. Set shooter, Sniper gets removed. Okay. I think I know about the Sniper. And the Limitless, I, uh, I don't know about that. Otter also gets removed. The playmaking badges, they have mm -hmm. killer combos, improves okay. a dribbler's effectiveness with size up dribble moves. Okay, size up dribble moves, that means when your defender's coming up, you sizing them up before you start your ISO and stuff like that, you know. Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's a good badge. It's basically a combination of last year's quick chain and tight handles badge. They have a clamp breaker, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh-oh, a uh, clamp break. That means somebody's going to break down the defense. Okay, that's what a clamp do. And I guess your, your character got to be one of those characters that can, you know, get through defense easy anyway. So, uh, yeah. Helps ball handlers win more one-on-one -on -one body but confrontations. Yeah. This is the counter to clamps. Here we go. Uh-oh, this is the counter. He said this is the counter to clamps. So my thing, I said, oh, clamp, clamp, Doberman. Back then, it was a Doberman defense. Now they call it clamp. That's the Michael Jordan era. I still say clamp, Doberman. Okay, but now with this counter to clamp. Let's see. So, uh oh. What? Vice grip. Improves oh. ball security immediately okay. after securing a rebound. Catch. Now that's dope. Vice grip. That means that you're going to have a good lock on the ball where nobody can slap it out your hand, clip you up. What about. If you just coming down like dribbling and stuff. Or picking up the ball. Okay. This is a great badge for bigs. It's about time. I like that. Okay. This match expert. Formerly a That's dope. Okay. <sighs> yeah, nice how my mismatch expert. Okay, let's see what this is about. Shooting badge. This badge now helps smaller guards okay. break down taller defenders win mismatch one on one. Hey, I like that. Okay. Remember That's dope right there. Mismatch bad, so you can, you know, like if you switch off on a man and stuff like that, then you'll be able to defend him and all that stuff, right? Move badges, bullet passer, downhill, blue hands, and stop and go. Mike okay. Wing did say that bullet passer is now tied to your passing accuracy rating. That's good. Bullet pass, that means that's a, a hard feed, like a football pass. that I hurt your fingers. It's a bullet pass, okay? Split up and down. Uh... That's dope, because you want to you know, try to slice through a defense. You want to get that ball in there with good precision. Here are the defense and rebounding yeah. badges. Okay. Anchor, a crucial badge for last line of defense bigs. It improves the ability to block and what? contest shots in the paint. Okay, I forgot what he, I don't know what he said, but uh, anything that can help in the interior is dope. Because right now I'm playing with the Pacers my first year. I'm a rookie being a finals. All because of Miles Turner and... I read uh, Sabonis on uh, Um They are unbelievable rim protectors. Okay, and if it, if you get a, a badge for that, that's dope. Box out beast. Okay, it helps rebounders win box out battles on both yeah, offense okay. and defensive rebound. I like that. I like that. that. That's 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 dope right there. I really like that. Down in situations, okay. workhorse. The Patrick Beverly badge. Patrick that boosts your ability to hustle down 50-50. Okay. They gave Pat Beverly a hustle badge. That's what's up, because he do be hustling. Now, this is a Shot Town prodigy right here. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, shout out to Pat Bev, Westside native. Uh, 
Do the bed. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Go to bed, man. Shout out to Pat Beverly, man. Stand up now. You keep doing your stuff. Uh, for real. Okay, man. Let's get back to it, man. So far, I like everything you're talking about. This move giving us a 4 one one Okay. On everything. Okay. And uh, for 2K23 so far. Evolves and play hard nose defense okay. without getting tired. Yeah. Glove. Named after legendary. Okay, they got the glove now. That I know that's the stealing because Gary Payne was named the glove. He was just the uh, defensive guru. Okay, and he used to clamp down and steal the ball a lot. That's what he did. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, this is going to be dope right here. Gary defender Gary Payne yeah. helps you strip players as they gather for shots. Yeah. And poke the ball free from ball handlers. I do that naturally anyway. Because I'm, I'm a defensive specialist myself. That's what I did. I used to get in the lanes, all that stuff. Talent shift improves the effectiveness of perimeter shot contest. Okay. Remove badges are. It's called Challenger. Okay, that's a shot contest uh, badge. And it said it improves the uh, ability of a player to, I guess, um, be. Undefensive against a, a person that's trying to challenge them. Challenge they shot. Okay, okay. Defensive leader. Team takeover has been redesigned. Now the entire okay. team has to contribute to the meter. It can't just be one guy. Now I don't know how to get the team takeover. I never knew how to get the team takeover. So Chris, I mean, explain that. Okay, I'm gonna listen to this. Come on. Guy going off that gets team takeover. Everybody's got to put in something. Okay. Each player has an equal portion of the meter that they have to fill up. Okay, so I guess the only way that can happen is if you pass the ball to these players if you're the point guard or whatever. and Or they can score. I mean, because you can't control the computer. Okay, because uh, I've been trying to get team takeover. I just don't know how to get it. Once each player fills it up, Okay. Then team takeover automatically fires off for the entire team. Now that's dope right there because I mean I don't even know how to get the takeover. I watch Hoodie Shine them get it a lot of times and stuff, but I still don't know how to get it, you know. because uh, I like I said I'm a slasher. I, my, my my primary objective is to score the basketball. I'm not passing you nothing. Okay? <laughs> yeah. There is a new pro stick. There's now gonna okay. be combos of gestures. Okay. Pro stick got a combo of gestures, you say, or what, moves or something? Uh, or gestures of what, mean what? Facial expressions or something? That you have to do to pull off specific moves. Okay. The way it works, sometimes you've got to flick the stick in okay. one direction, then let go of the stick, then flick it back in the same. Okay, certain combo moves. Now, I'm going to really be practicing these that, this dribble moves and stuff as well for 2K23. All right? Uh, 22, I really didn't get no good start. And plus, they need to do something about even if you build your character, you got certain archetypes. You want that character speed to be on point. A lot of stuff you can't do unless you got speed, unless you adjust your game. I don't know how these guys be doing that. I be watching uh, statistics. Uh, a lot of people be uh, like uh, uh, side six of van. They make characters be so fast, man. Like, I wonder how they do that. Okay, and Gento, you know, it's like they be making, how do they, I guess it's they archetype or something that makes their character, they get these extra things that make their character be faster. That's one thing I'm trying to do. If my, if my character is faster, then I can do those combo moves and all that type of stuff. Same direction. And other times you got to flick it, let's say to the right. Okay. Let it reset and flick yeah. it to the left, the opposite direction, to okay. pull off different dunks, different layups, different shots. Right. Okay, I understand that. For dunking, they've got a new mat okay. for the dunk meter. Different directions you have to use the right stick in. If you hold it up. Okay. Now, I'm a dunk specialist. Like I said, I'm a slasher. And they need to put more dunks on there. That's easy to do. So you won't have to be doing all this extra stuff. They need to increase, like, with, like you talking about, like the, 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 the D pad or the shot stick. You can move it in a certain direction and give you a different dunk. But they sometimes they give you the same four. Four basic dunks. There should be something like if you tap it twice, it'll give you another dunk, you know, in, in that direction or something like that. You're gonna do a two handed dunk. If you hold it to the right, you do a strong handed dunk. Okay. Left is a weak handed dunk, and down is a rim hang. Okay, or reverse dunk too. You can go up. Okay, so that's what they do. 
Then if you go up, up, you're going to do a flashy two-handed dunk. If okay. you go down, up. Okay, okay, okay. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Up, up. Like, I didn't know. I'm going to try that tonight. Uh, well, later on, because I didn't know if you do something like that. Maybe that's on 2K22, too. Okay? Because I know I was studying it for real, like 2K2021. But that's what's up. You do a flashy one hand dunk. Okay. You go up down on the right stick. You're gonna do a normal skill dunk yeah. meter. And if you go down down on the right stick, yeah. that will trigger a ring hang skill dunk. With that's dope right there. I like that. I like that a lot. And then you know you can pick your different type of dunk styles as you want. Okay, that's what's up. The meter. For finesse moves for slashers, a okay. double throw gesture. Okay, see, I'm a slasher. Now you talk about my type. Okay, now listen closely. Is used for hop steps. Okay. While switchbacks are used for euro steps and cradle layups. Okay. I'm not quite sure what to think of all these new gestures. It's they call it gestures and stuff, I guess, for these combinations, for these different type of packages you can use for like dunks and layups and all that stuff. This unnecessary. Is that right stick going to be responsive? They're saying they made yeah. these changes so that you can do what you're supposed to do, what you want. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're going to do a lot of these uh, upgrades and stuff like updates and all that type of stuff. Yeah. Want to do, but with all those gestures, yeah. I think you're going to go into the paint sometimes and do moves you didn't want to do because maybe it doesn't register the double up or the switch back. Yeah. You know, you can always do a different a move that, you know, you the one trying to call for, you know. That's why my cousin was like, man, let's press the S button. Because the S button or on the S box, let's press the S button, you know, and that'll give you any type of basic dunk. Like right now, I've been using the S button to shoot my free throws. I was using my shot stick last year, but I can't use that. Now I got to use the S button on the S box, okay. And I use that to shoot too because it made it so hard to shoot the ball. Like, on 2K22, we use a shot stick, like you floating the ball up or something, you can still shoot, but your character be, like it's the ball be, you just shooting a high lob shot or something like that. High arcing shot, okay? But yeah, use the buttons, y'all. Or whatever, so okay. who knows how that's gonna work out. This could yeah. be good or it could be a fail. We'll just have to wait and see. Yeah. All of. Okay, this is good information so far that Chris Smooth is giving us, man, set up and down. Probably the number one, besides Cash Nasty, informing the person about 2K. These check down are going to be there for too. dribbling as well. Yeah. So now, when you have signature moving crossovers, okay, the options are going to go from 15 different moves that you can. Yeah, because there's a lot of crossover moves out here, dog. The dribble packages have gotten better, and these moves are getting more complex. Like the step over, they're going to have a step over move. You know, not to step back, to step over move. The James Harden, that man is getting real. Yeah. You do. Out of your crossovers, up to 28. Woo! Depending on That's a lot of crossovers. On how you're using the gestures. Okay. It's going to depend on the speed of the gestures, so you're going to have yeah. to learn all that stuff. But now you're going to have... That's exactly what I was talking about, the speed. Your character going to have to be... Speed. I don't know how statistics they got they stuff they got they stuff they uh settings tight for every year. That's how once you find out what works for your character, then you just keep doing the same thing. I've been doing the same thing for my slash. I I can jump high, but my speed still ain't there. That's the one thing I need to get in my speed right. A dedicated crossover and hesitation combos yeah. coming out of your signature packages. Yeah. But this is what I like about the dribbling. They're saying that your energy is going to yeah. deplete much quicker when... Okay. So you dribble too much? That's good. Cause these dribble guys, they be doing forever. Okay. Spamming too many moves together. Yeah. They even have a clip on their blog that shows the stamina meter. Lonzo Ball, he's over dribbling. And when he loses that stamina... Okay. When he loses stamina, then he loses dribbling. Stamina, his dribbles become really slow. He starts stumbling. The only thing is, yeah. are they actually going to keep it this way? Because we know. Oh, no, you know they ain't going to keep it that way because, you know, people will start complaining. They're going to say, Ryan 2K, you messed up again and all this and that type of stuff. And Mike Wayne and all this and that, yeah. You know that when the game comes out and people start trying to spam dribbles and yeah. it doesn't work, they're going to complain Yeah. how long before they patch it and put it right back to where it was. Also, they're going to put it right back to where it was because they don't want to lose no money. They'll start losing. 
uh, they'll start losing revenue. Okay, so they don't keep you where it's at. Are they going to have any badges that help with your dribbling stamina, like handles for days, right? They yeah. usually say that they want to do stuff like this, but then the... See, I don't really focus on that stuff. See, I'm a slasher. I just get the ball bounced. I'm going to the rack. Okay, all them other people, they want to stay out there, do all that extra stuff, then put up a bad shot. Okay, how you going to dribble? You can't shoot. Okay? Yeah. I just slash. They'll have a badge that makes it easier to do what they claim they don't want you to do. Yeah. Now, if you look at that Lonzo Ball clip, though, you'll see that under the meter, there's going to be three bars. They now have adrenaline. Okay. They got three different type of bars that let you know where your character is at once they start accessory dribbling. Adrenaline boost. And you're going to get this. You're going to get three of those boosts per player, per possession. Can't see it. Those okay. three small meters, those boosts are going to be consumed every time you perform a hard go or a... Uh-oh, so that's that's good. So it cuts down on that, you know, you dribble excess, you got to pass the ball. That's it. I mean, is it going to be like that in the part two? I guess it's going to be in the part two the same way. So that, that's good. Explosive sprint launch. Yeah. Once your three boosts are gone, you'll notice that your speed and acceleration decrease significantly. For but how fast do it come back, though? Unless you get timeouts or something like that. Unless you sit down. I mean, but you're in the park. You don't get no. That's it. You just have to play that game. Now. Okay. For the remainder of the yeah. possession. But if you look at the Lonzo clip, it never goes down. He didn't explode, though. So yeah. it's a good concept. So you can do basic stuff, though. Basically, you ain't got to do all that extra excessive dribbling. You can do basic stuff like how they show him Bookie. He just did a side step and then stepped over. You know, like just. A side crossover without going through the legs and step over to his to his right. Okay, that that's 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 okay. It's simplest. It's easy. Okay. But since you're gonna get that every possession per player, maybe it won't actually drain the stamina that much because it seems like having three of those boosts is gonna be more than enough. Yeah. Because normally when people over that's dope though. You get extra boosts for your dribbling packages. That's that's. But well, what about the speed burst? That's what I'm talking. About. We need a speed burst on there that'll cut, that, that'll help with the with the actual like you know the speed for the character. Cause back then they hit all that stuff, man. That's what they need. For dribble, they don't explode yeah. that many times. They over dribble, and then they'll finally go by you. But you're gonna have three boosts. Yeah. Three Cause I know. Um, now he's still talking about this this dribbling. I want to talk about the speed itself. Cause I know when I played, I, that's why I stopped playing my team. Because they messed it up, man. It's like, I mean, still, you can pick up a character as fast, too. You know, I, I played with Derek. Well, I was killing with Derek. Well, I'm talking about everything with 2000 and what, 10 that was? Derek Rose won the MVP, 11. That was one of the best copies. That was the Kobe Bryant copy ever. That game was so, I got still got video clips of that on my YouTube, man. Man, I used to play that my team, man. And the character was so right, man. It's like. That was perfect, man. You could shoot on 2K easy. I don't know why they changed everything up, man. They made it so hard. They need to make it was like NBA Jam, okay? I, that's why I still play NBA Jam because I can shoot the ball. That's what you. That's the whole objective of the other game is to shoot the basketball. If you can't shoot the basketball, that's even with a, a regular player. They made it so hard to shoot the ball with a regular player, you know. And then you get back to that, man. Just making it, making it where you can shoot. My cousin, he put it on easy. <laughs> okay? Because that's one way you can just shoot the damn ball. Or learn how to shoot it. Three explosions per possession. Yeah. So I don't know if that actually makes a difference. I guess we'll just have to see how it works. Just thinking about it, I would yeah. say they should only give you one explosion per possession. Okay, you get three explosions per possession. So that means you can do multiple different type of dribble stuff that'll help. You know, escape from a player that got a, that's a clamp down defender. If they really wanted to yeah. prevent that type of dribbling, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah. 2K has changed signature jump shots. There's going to be four. Okay. Now this is important too. The signature jump shot. Okay. Now you can create your own jump shot. Now, uh, certain characters you can't get. Like well, players like Penny Hardaway got probably the best jumper I have ever shot with. Cause I use them in my team, so it's like that's why a lot of people play play my team like that, so they can, you know, play with certain players and stuff, and then they see that that jumper work for them, and then they'll go back and they'll do they create, you know, they create their own player. I mean, create their own custom shot. 
Okay, the shot creator thing. Okay, and right now I'm using Chris Paul, Michael Jordan, and I think it's Kevin Durant. I'm using the same thing I use because I started shooting this year and it's working for me. Okay, but if they can have where you can pick, because they got certain players that you can pick. All right, when you get the animation stuff like that. Okay, but you should be able to pick every player that has ever played in the NBA. They all should be in the NBA, not just a certain group. You know how many players have been in the NBA? So that means you should be able to go through, like, you play on my team, I'll come back to play on my team if they can get the shooting back right. Because, I mean, I used to play my team a lot. That's how I started. That's how I started, man. Playing my team. I didn't, I didn't like my career mode. Now I like my career mode because can I can just dunk now and just, you know, do what I want to do because they took the shot away. Because I'm a shooter. I'm a shooter first. Okay, that's how I started, but okay, that's that's just my my, my my two cents on that. Man, make that shooting stats that determine your effectiveness really of shooting. Shot okay. speed, which is how quickly the shot gets to its ideal release point. Okay. Now they gotta do something about that release thing too, because that you know, like when you releasing the ball, I mean this one was kinda okay. This probably was the best shooting copy because I was shooting the ball more on this copy than I had on previous copies. They need to make that the same way. Okay, but let's make this. Let's make the shot easy, man. That's all we got to do. Once they make the shot easy, they're gonna have a lot of people playing this game again for real. Release height is how high the shot is released. Right. Defensive immunity is how effective the shot is against yeah. defensive contest, and then timing impact adjust the shot windows to reward good time. Yeah, it's like they do it all. So I now understand they said. The next, the, the next gen is the best move to go because they're making all this stuff where you have to have a the brand new console because the old one is going to be doing but no, the same stuff like have given you a lot of problems but when you got the new console then you ain't got to worry so much about all that because it's formatted for that so the game is formatted for the new generation I understand everything completely okay so what Chris Moore was talking about I got to get the next gen man I'm going to have to find it I gotta find that man. I gotta find that box. For real man. I gotta get it man. Cause I'm two or three years behind on it. I need to get the next gen. You know, I can't. That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You can't find it nowhere in the street. Okay, this is crazy. I mean, at the cost of an increased penalty for bad time. Okay. They've added a bunch of new jump shooting animations, and they're gonna be gated by shooting ratings. So you're gonna have to play around with all the options to figure out what works best for your skill set and yeah. the playing style. 2K has also okay. added five new jump shot meters to choose from. Okay, five new jump shot meters. They hit a, a few of them, one on the feet, circle thing, and the one that you, you know, differently. Okay, that's what you're talking about. Um, and there's going to be 15 more that can be unlocked. Wow, that's dope. Okay, which one works for you that makes it easy? Because, like, I was listening to, uh, I think, who was that, Cash? He said he don't like the shot meter, so he took it off. So that's why you don't see the shot meter when he's playing. And stuff like that. It's different. You no, know, it works different for everybody. I don't matter. Shot me. It's cool with me. The one again now. So seasons yeah. are coming back. Shot feedback and green animations are gonna be delayed. They want to wait. Okay. The green animation. I don't know about that stuff. That's Chris Moody part right there. Okay. But uh, yeah. Uh, so far, so this the is ball hits the rim before they show you the feedback and before your player. Does his green animation. Okay. The green, I guess that's after you hit the shot or something like that. You know, they got an animation for that shot. Like, you know, now they got, uh, like, sound effects and all this and that type of stuff with the animation. This is crazy. One new mechanic about passing is if you hold circle oh. or B, your player's going to spot up for a shot. So they're going to make a V cut. Okay. So if you hold circle or B and you're passing the ball, that's dope right there. I utilize that a lot, especially if you're playing on a computer. You know, uh, you can get these that spot up for a shot. If you pass them to a man, automatically start shooting the ball. That's dope. But come back out to catch yeah. and then shoot to set their feet. So that sounds interesting. Can't wait to yeah. see how that works. Yeah. And I'm going to watch. I'm, I'm going to not only be watching them, I'm going to be doing this stuff. So I'm going to really go hard. Every year I'm going hard, man. You know, I'm, you know now that I got everything set up the way I want, want to now, Okay, uh, y'all see me back out there playing. You know, I did this for a reason, man. I got everything. I'm trying to be like Cash Nasty and the rest of them, man. You know, that's doing this stuff, man. It's, it's. I uh, shout out to them, man. 
you know, because they're the ones that helped me get to this level, started me off, and me, I'm watching them. And my beautiful wife, yes, Tay. She wanted to be the sponsor to help me get a lot of this stuff that I have. So, you know, I'm in debt and in great gratitude of all the young people, man, for real, for real, for allowing me to get back into this basketball, okay? Yeah, let's get it. They're trying to improve the shot contest, so my this ball. year, oh. they're going to take oh. your defensive okay. player's contesting hand throughout a window of the shooting motion to determine the success. Okay, so now you're doing something with this shot contest though, as a, for the defender, okay? Now, that's too much right there. That has to be natural. They don't need to do all this extra stuff. If you're able to block the shot, you can block the shot, period. Of that contest. Okay. The longer you're able to be there with your contest in the shooting motion, okay. the better your chance of making that offensive player miss the shot. Okay, okay, okay. Now, that's dope right there, too, because they be making a lot of tough shots, especially in the park. Okay? They should apply that everywhere. For on-ball defense, they're bringing back a feature of the past, a new defensive shading mechanic. Okay. This used to be an earlier 2Ks. There's going to be three bar... Okay. I didn't know about that, but, you know, let's listen in. ...bars on the indicator of a defensive player... Yeah. ...that are going to show whether you're going to play straight-up defense, whether you're going to shade to the left or okay. to the right. So, basically, you can say, I'm not going to let this man go right. I'm going to... Sh okay, so that means you can hedge him off or you can, you know... Sliding that position and keep making go forth this direction. Save myself right, and it's going to help you force him to use his other right. hand. Okay. So that's a nice feature. We haven't had that since the game used to have automatic. Okay, yeah, I think it was something like that. I don't know what copy it was, but yeah. Defense, where it would do all the defense for you. So it doesn't yeah. sound like it's going to do that, but if you're. I really was a my team player. I may get back to it, man. You know, depending on how good the shot is. Okay? But I'm stuck on this market. My career mode is so cold. They didn't reach the whole epic level high right now as far as like, man, my career mode is dope. For shading and the offensive player runs into your yeah. shade, you're going to force him to stumble. It's going to have a reaction for the offensive player. So, I mean, the my career mode is so, I'm still st stuck on this. My career mode is so better than my team because now you have an opportunity to be of getting drafted by a franchise. If you get looked at your character and stuff, they're going to want to buy you. And you represent their franchise like this, the real NBA stuff. This is so cold. But anyway, back to what he's saying. Here's a great feature. Your animations are going to yeah. be account bound. Okay. Meaning that when you're making a player and you buy an animation, you only have to buy it once. You don't have to. Okay. I didn't know nothing about that. I, I guess so. I mean, you say you buy your know, character. You buy some animation for them, you're going to have to buy that one. I ain't going to have to buy all that stuff more than one time. You have to buy it every single time you make a new player. That is a major... Wait a minute. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, in that, but then that copy. Because they, they create different uh, archetypes and stuff like that. They be having more than one character. Like Gento be having Gento Matumbo and, you know, the other Gento and stuff like that. And, so if you buy an animation, you'll keep it throughout every character you want to pay for. You. Okay. Dub, it's about time. Yeah. that they do that right that's going to save a lot of money a lot of vc yeah. you buy it once and that's it hopefully the pro that's dope yeah hoping they get the prices right on this on a lot of this stuff you got to buy this stuff very expensive man. prices don't go crazy high though yeah since they're gonna let us buy it once and be done with it yeah this was a really long blog i went over most of oh yeah shout out to chris move man he took care of his business he told us the, the 411 Okay, shake down to it. He do it too. He do it real fast and quick. But uh, he gave us a lot of meat. Chris Moody on point with stuff. The changes, but I didn't go over everything. So link yeah. is going to be in the description if you want to read it all for yourself. A lot of this stuff sound. Yeah, I'm going to check it out. I'm going to check it out. And I'm going to do my own video, um, like a new report probably tomorrow. And he out of 411 and all the stuff he didn't come. Okay, so make sure y'all subscribe and come back. Y'all see me do that. It's good, but we know that 2K gamers start complaining yep. and then 2K starts patching. So you yep, and the game start going down. But that's why I like my career mode. So I can deal with all the other stuff that they're talking about. Because if you start getting in the park, your character just keep changing. Everything keeps changing based on how they be whining like that and stuff like that. Okay? You can see their intentions, the direction they're trying to take the yeah. gameplay. But... Can they survive the complaining in the first few weeks? Whoop. There's no other game. So 2K is the only basketball game we got. There's no EA Sports been bought out by 2K. 
2K on it now, so this is it, man. So we gotta make the best of it, man. Will they just change it back to what we're used to yeah. after a month of gameplay like we're so used to seeing them do? Yeah. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Okay. Let me know what you think. Okay. All right. So Chris Moon gave us the 411, man. Uh, said a lot in that video, man. Hope y'all got some insightful information. And of course, I do, I, I do the ana analysis stuff on these videos. I'm not too normal reaction guru, okay? Um, I do the, the breakdown of stuff and see y'all can really understand. But anyway, man, um, I got a soap light talking about talent. I forget about that, man. Hey, this your boy LC the One, baby. LC the One reacts, you dig? A K A Illmatic One, two folk. And not the mother sucking gang numbers, man. But my actual jersey number I wore when I was hooping in high school. And my warm up jersey right here on the back of my mother sucking one to stand. Like I was saying, keep pimping and avoid slipping. Because they will get your mother sucking ass if you slip on that mother sucking banana pill. You dig what I'm talking about, man? And like I always say, man, trust me, never got wrong. Before we leave, shout out to my LC Nation, my LC Gang Gang, my LC Crew. I need y'all to like this video. <laughs> Share this video everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Comment on this video, man. And most importantly of all, man, y'all got to subscribe to my YouTube channel, LCD1, and then my other channel, LCD1 Reacts, to get more exclusive reaction from your NBA reaction guru. Like I always say, man, tell us remember, God, we gone. All right, we out of here, man. In a five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to see y'all next reaction video. Yeah. You did.